Hi friends, after owning 12 Aero Gordons from different Aero Gordon models, I just want to try something different. I found this i2 indoor LED hydroponic system on Amazon. So I just want to give this a try. So I'm going to compare this i2 model with my Aero Gordon models to see if they are practically close. So for this, I'm going to start radish seeds. I know these radish seeds will grow in 25 days. The packet also says same thing. So I recently grown these radishes and I was able to harvest in 23 days. So I'm going to start these radishes in all these three gardens. I have Aero Garden Harvest Slim and this is the IGO hydroponic system and this is the Aero Garden Sprout which is the smallest model. Um, so I'm going to start the same radish seeds in all these three models and uh, see how the growth is in each model so we can have side by side comparison. Okay, I have my three gardens, I do harvest and sprout models ready with same seeds. Let's see the progress going forward. Okay, it's been three days exactly. I see the, all the seeds sprouted very well. Um, I see seedlings in every pod. One is little bit slow. Seeds in the harvest also growing very well. I see exact same growth as I do. Six out of six sprouted and they are growing very well. Okay, it's uh, day six. The radish plants in my I do are growing very similar to the radish plants growing in Aero Garden Harvest. It's day 10, I see radishes in both I do as well as Aero Garden Harvest are growing at same pace. I see baby radishes already in both I do as well as in my Aero Garden Harvest. Sprout is not that good. I see only one out of three plants growing very well. Second one just started picking up and third one is still struggling to grow. So at this point I can say that I do is very competitive to Aero Garden Harvest. They both are pretty same and the idu is much better than sprout for sure it's been 14 days i see the radishes in both idu and aero garden harvest growing at same pace same height same leaves same radishes okay now let's take a close look at the radishes first i do radishes look at these beautiful baby radishes they're growing very well Okay, now comes to Aero Garden. So this one is growing taller than wider. Here is another beautiful color. Now look at this. Okay, since it's 14 days, it's time for food and also refill water. Okay, it's the same nutrition came with I do. I'm going to use this again. Uh, I'm going to top up the water to 5 liter again, so I will add uh, uh, 25 ml of uh, each nutrition. Alright, one cap is 15 ml. And another 10 ml. Okay, done with nutrition B. Now nutrition A, 15, now another 10, alright now time for water, since we are here let's take a quick peek underneath. Oh, nice root system. There's one plant that's not growing which doesn't have any roots, but uh, it's okay. Let's see. Okay, don't forget to put the cap back. Okay, now it's a uh, Herogodian time. 
I'm going to use Aerogarden Nutrition. Alright, we need 8 ml here. And now I'm also going to top up the water. All right, they are good for the rest of the growth. Day 22, my radishes are ready in both gardens. I can see that radishes are pretty much of same size in both gardens. One of the radishes in sprout also very competitive, but other two did not grow. Look at these beautiful radishes and the beautiful grains. It's time to harvest. Wow, oh, look at these greens. Let's take a close look at the radishes. Here is Aerogarden. I can see they are pretty much same size. Of course they are various sizes, but on average they are pretty same. Let me show you how it is underneath. It's a pretty good root system. Now let's look at Aerogarden. So it's very similar to I do. I don't see much difference here. So this concludes my experiment with Aerogarden and I do side by side. Overall results are pretty same. I would say I do 7 pod hydroponic system is very close to Aerogarden harvest hydroponic system. Okay, it's time for test test. These are the I do radishes and these are Aerogarden radishes. So Aerogarden got some special radish here. So I'm going to cut this and do the taste test. First I do. It's really good. Next Aerogarden. Yep. It's good too. Both are same. There's no difference in taste. Look at these poor radishes in sprout. I'm so happy with the center one, but the other two are very disappointing. Okay, let's look at some of the core differences between I do and Aerogarden. The first difference I noticed is the way how pump works. Here in I do, the pump just creates some bubbles. Let's see. So as you can see here, it's just moving the water and creating some air bubbles. So whereas in Aerogarden, the water comes to this growing deck. So as you can see here, the water comes to air deck and uh, the water will flow throughout the air deck. So basically the water goes to all the holes. So in this I see Aerogarden is much better because the water is going through every pod here. So it will make sure the pods are always wet. I think this is really important especially uh, during the seedling stage because there won't be any roots uh, during the seedling stage. So flowing the water to each pod will really help. So the second difference I see is the water indicator. Aerogarden has a water indicator here which will tell you when the water is low uh, visually. I do doesn't have a visual indicator for water level but when the water goes to too low then you will see a beep here. Let me dump some water here and show you what it means. Okay, I dumped a lot of water here. The water level is barely at the pump. So 
here is the beep you can see when the water level is low okay now i am filling up the water let's see if this beep will go automatically you see here as i am pouring the water once the water reaches to about 2 liter indicator the beep uh, turned off automatically so this difference is not a big deal either way i am getting notified when the water is low so the next difference is the maximum light height you can see that the bowl height is same for both idu and aero garden but the idu light can go little higher so we can see that the idu light can grow at least 3 inches higher compared to aero garden so depending on what you are growing this extra 3 inches high will matter the next difference between these gardens is again about the light height but this time it is about the lowest light height as you can see here the idu light can grow little lower compared to aero garden light i don't know if this really matters practically i don't see any difference growing plants but it is a visual difference the last difference is the nutrition indicator i see this is a big miss in idu there is no nutrition indicator in idu whereas in aero garden i can see a visual indicator so aero garden is not really measuring the nutrients but it just give an indicator every 14 days so that i don't need to remember when to add the nutrition but in idu there is no indicator so i have to remember the duration between feedings and i have to feed every 14 days just as a tip i always start idu garden along with aero garden so i don't need to remember anything whenever i see the nutrition indicator on aero garden i just add nutrition on idu so overall i bought both aero garden harvest and idu 7 pod 1 at 70 dollar price range so with that i definitely out for aero garden